Hello YouTube, I am back and I'm back because my friend Paul from England is having difficulties or issues with uh, using machine in song mode and I told him I would um, do a video for him and hopefully this will help him and everybody else. So now let's, let's start. Um, machine isn't just a beat maker that can just make beats, you can actually do songs. Um, the way we need to think about this initially is Machine has scenes, which are sequences, and patterns re mean, or you can think of it as the length of the music or beat within the scene, and each group can have as, as long as a pattern as you like, and Machine will default or play the longest pattern uh, throughout that, that scene. Um, hopefully that makes it um, a little clear. So now... When we first get started, obviously you got to load a kit, which I did. You hear that? And I just put a couple sounds in here. Just to do something real simple. Now, we have that in there. So we're starting with scene one. The way how I write music is I try to come up with a nice concept and then I break down the pieces and add as I go along. But initially what you're going to do is you're going to be in scene one. And I'm starting with group A. For simplicity purposes, I want it to be four bars, the pattern length. So what you do is press pattern. You select pattern one on the, on the LCD here in the first pad here. And you hold it down. And on the LCD on your left, you'll see something that says length. And it defaults to one bar. I'm just going to turn it to four just for simplicity purposes. And now I'm going to do a... Um, sequence a step recording of something real simple don't hate it i'm not trying to do anything good i'm just doing this for my man paul and everybody else i got that going just so you can hear it i'm gonna put this snare in here this in here. that. I was going to add a little swing to this thing. Turn this down a little bit so it sounds good. So now we have a four bar pattern in group A with the drums, which is good. So now you may say, I want to add some, I don't know, bass or whatever. I got something real simple. I just want to hear how this sounds. down some. As you see, I'm doing this on the fly. Alright, let's, now, we're in pattern, uh, not pattern, group B. And the same rule applies. Once you start a pattern for the first time, it defaults to one bar. What we're going to do as we did before, we're going to press the pattern button. It defaults to, to uh, pad one. And now we want it to be four bars just for argument purposes. So it'll match this. So now I'm going to play that bass line for four bars. Here we go. This um, lead in here. See how this sounds. Alright, let's just add that in there. And again, I'm not trying to sound good. I'm just doing it for my man Paul. Here we go. Sounds 
pretty decent. Nothing I would like, but whatever. But now, this is just for that. So we got that going. Now, let's say, okay, I've done everything I want to do, but now I want to create an intro to the song. Now, cameraman, point at the screen here. You see we have scene one. You can do it on the on the screen or, or in the controllers. Uh, so, cameraman, look down here at the controller here. What we're going to do, is we want to duplicate this scene because we like everything in it, but we want to take some pieces out to create uh, the intro. You press scene and duplicate. Now, cameraman, look at the screen. We have, it says scene one and scene one, and both have pattern one and pattern one, which is fine. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take out everything except, except for the kick drum in, the, in, the, uh, in group A. So you don't want to destroy your original group. So you're going to copy it. And the way you copy it, and cameraman, look at the com computer. Well, there's two ways. You can select pattern and duplicate. Or the easiest way is a computer. You right click on number one as where you are, copy. Go to number two, right click, and paste. And that drum pattern is repeated. We're going to do the same thing for group two. We're going to right click, copy, and paste in number it's two. It's 19 hours. And my clock says it's, it's 19 hours, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So now, let's say you, you say, you know what, I just want the kick drum to be in the intro here. What I'm going to do is take everything, here everything's going. I'm going to erase all of this, and I'm going to go to group B and get rid of the uh, stupid uh, synthesizer in a minute. Okay, that's group A. Group B, I'm going to take out the synthesizer. Just erase and shift, I mean erase and hold down the pad. There it is. Now, most intros have some type of drum roll at the top. What I'm going to do is go to the fourth bar and add uh, this in. Just so you can hear it. I just want you to hear the, the drum roll. Now, cameraman, please look at the screen. The way to make each scene or sequence play consecutively, there's two ways to do it. Number one, on the screen, if you can see the mouse moving, you click in the first scene and just drag over. You see the, the gray area. Or, cameraman, please look at the, the controller here. You press scene, and the starting scene is number one, the first one. Then you hit the second one. They will play consecutively. Here we go. See, and it goes right into the song. Okay, now, just to make it a longer uh, song or pattern, whatever you want to call it, we're going to do, we're going to create one more part. We're going to go to scene again and duplicate. And now what we're going to do is, since we like uh, the, the pattern and in, in, in in the drum part in section A, group A, we're going to keep that. But what we're going to do here is change the pattern in group B. Group B has the, the bass sound and that synthesizer sound. Let's say for your verse, all you want is the bass to play. Um, what you could do is actually, since we already have it in, in uh, the first scene, all we do is select scene two. And now, let's have all three play together. Again, you can do it on the controller. You press scene and the first scene that you want and the last scene that you want. They'll play together. Or you can do it on the, on the computer. Just click on the first scene and drag across. Now, uh, listen as, the, as, as it plays all three sequences together. Your, your 
reverse. And what you can do also do is just to see how it goes. And it goes, go right back to that. And that's it. You can keep going and going and going. You can make the patterns longer. And the way how you make the patterns longer is you go to the pattern, you select step, and above, right next to the step, step will be uh, highlighted. Right next to it is something that says, is another button that says double, and you just press double. That now, instead of four bars, it's eight bars. All you did was just do the, copy it and make it eight bars. There was nothing for you to do. Now, now listen, this is going to go for eight bars. Said, machine defaults to the longest pattern. So pattern one is eight bars and it's going to repeat it. There you go. And then you can do this again and again. And if the cameraman looks at the screen, it and I always get the question, how do you know what scene is what? You can double click in the top where it says scene one and you name it. This can be intro. This could be the second one, you just call it hook or, or chorus. So whatever you want to call it, I always call it hook. And then the third one in our example here is the main. There we go. So now we have a song with three sequences that can be changed in any way. Remember, you have up to, I believe, it's 64 different patterns for each group. So if you want to make little, a tiny nuance change, let's say you want to um, add a piano in there, and but you don't want to change anything, you just want to add the piano on top of that, you can do that. You can edit, you can do whatever you want. And, it, and the same thing applies for each group, every single group. So there's a lot of things you can do, and when you're done, you can, um, if all your work in machine is done, you can export your, your file into Pro Tools, into GarageBand, or whatever, a digital audio workstation that you're using and continue to work on it from there. Paul, I hope this helped you and I hope it helped other people. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment uh, to this video. I hope it's helpful and I hope to hear and see you guys soon. Be blessed. Thank you.